Welcome to another Artemis Suite tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn more about the configuration options for the axes in your diagrams. In our example, we have calculated a loudness versus time and a level versus time analysis for a mark where one abscissa is displayed, which represents time, and two ordinates are displayed, which represent the loudness and the sound pressure level. You can change the default settings for the positions of the axes. A right-click on the diagram allows you to access not only a number of cursor functions, but also two icons allowing you to change the positions of the axes. For example, if you select Left Only for the ordinate layout, both ordinate axes are now displayed on the left side of the diagram. If you want to use both sides of the diagram for multiple axes, select the last entry in the drop-down list. In the same way, you can move the abscissa to the top of the diagram. A right-click on an axis opens its properties. In the Properties, which you can also access via the Properties tool window, you can configure a wide range of options for the respective axis. You can change the axis section to be displayed by entering the desired upper and lower limits. Here you can also specify the scaling or hide an axis altogether. To make the axis visible again, use the Visible option in the Properties tool window. With the arrow icon at the beginning of the dialog, you can access additional layout settings for the axis. The first option determines how much space is reserved for the axis. If you select the small setting, the unit for the axis overlaps with the title in this case. To avoid this, you can change the orientation of the text to vertical. The next option allows you to change the representation of the numbers on a frequency axis. To demonstrate this, we have calculated an FFT average analysis for a mark. For example, you can have the numbers on your frequency axis displayed as powers of 10. The next drop-down menu allows you to change the number of values displayed on an axis. With the setting Manual Step Axis, you can specify the step width. In the case of logarithmic axes, such as a frequency axis, the step width is interpreted as a factor. On a frequency axis, you can also have the frequency values displayed in steps of one octave or one third octave. For the appearance of time axes, you can choose between the standard axis and the additional options Time Axis and DOR Axis. Use the Time Axis setting to display the time in minutes or hours, depending on your scaling, rather than in seconds. The setting DOR Axis, which stands for Date of Recording, displays the date and time of your recording, and you can still scale the axis by entering limit values. Now you have an overview of the configuration options for diagram axes, allowing you to customize the axes in your diagrams exactly to your needs.